Hi, my name is Mansoor Nathani and this video is going to cover a few sample DNS lookups using a command line tool called DIG. Um, my previous video I covered the installation of the DIG command as well as a few sample queries and I also went through a brief introduction to DIG and the who is command. So the first command that we, we, I want to demonstrate uh, with DIG is to query the root name servers for hints. And to do this I'm just gonna type in that command dig. Notice the dot the period that's for the root name root servers. NS is the type of query. And we're gonna direct it at one of the root servers. A dot root servers dot net. It's given me a message size of uh, 512 bytes. Uh, this is a UDP uh, packet that was sent, a UDP request. But I know that there's more records in here. There's supposed to be uh, up to 688 bytes. So that's supposed to. Uh, so let's try doing the same query over TCP. So let's. So query root name servers for hints with the plus TCP option. So the same query as before. Notice the previous one had additional 14 records. This one has additional 22 records. Notice almost all the root servers now have quad A records or IPv6 records. Uh, some of them do not, um, like B. B only has an IPv4 record, same with C. Um, e is another one that only has um, IPv4 record, then this one right here, G, also IPv4 only, but pr pretty much the rest of them all have both IPv4 and v6. Let's go back here and see the next query. We're going to query the root name servers for the .com zone. So the way we do this is we query the same root s servers for com. Dot don't need to specify. We can leave it with TCP. And here we go. Here's the the zone for the .com name servers. Um, over here, notice only two two name servers, the A and B, have IPv6 records. The rest of them are IPv4 only at this time. The next query we want to do is we want to query the .com name servers for a specific uh, domain networklayer.com we don't need the TCP anymore so let's just go here we can either use the the IP address or the the, the name of the name server so let's try an IP address here and the record what we want we want is networklayer And we've res returned two IP uh, two name servers, um, ns one dot and ns two dot com, and they both have both IPv four as well as IPv six quad A records. The next type of record we're going to do is an SPF record, and we're going to query hotmail dot com. SPF is useful for sending email, and you can specify what. IP addresses are valid to send email for your zone. So over here we just see that it includes a referral to other um, uh, records right here. So let's try doing this. So there you can see it's listing all the valid net blocks that uh, Hotmail has authorized to send email for its zone. Next query I want to run is an MX query on uh, Hotmail.com. Dig MX Hotmail.com, and it just shows four uh, MX records 
with all equal weight. The, the, the five right here is the weight or priority. Lower it means a higher priority. Lower the number to higher the priority. And this number right here is the time to live. Uh, basically, how how long the the record can be cached before it expires. Here's a reverse lookup. So we're gonna do dig dash x eight dot eight dot eight dot eight and then it returns the record google dash public dash dns dash a dot google dot com okay here's an interesting one dig download dot microsoft dot com because this one is um, published through a content distribution network so depending on where you query from you're gonna get different responses and I'll demonstrate that in just a second so initially let's just do dig download dot microsoft dot and it, it turns out to be some kind of footprint dot net uh, zone uh, with three different IP addresses um, if we try that same query with the add sign and then query say a different name server say level 3 where sign I think 4.3.3.3 oh it's actually 4.2.2.2 .2 this one you see it's going to Akamai and you've given two IP addresses again notice these are different IP addresses from the ones we got previously uh, let's try this one more time with OpenDNS 208.67.222.222 and we've got yet again footprint but different IP addresses uh, similar to the ones we got the first time 8.254 no 8.27 so it's different so there, there, that's just an example of uh, a zone that's distributed based on where you query from the next record is going to be a quad A record we're going to query for ipv6.google.com and there's your IPv6 address that's returned similarly if we want to do a reverse lookup for the IPv6 record it's dig dash x and then the, the IP address and then what the dig command actually does is it converts that uh, shortened IP address into this long format with all the 32 uh, characters 32 because each character represents four bits in the in the address so if you look at the original query 2001 of course you're 2001 and then it's 4860 4860 and then 4008 notice there was uh, 802 next but it's missing the zero so it actually fills in the zero 0802 and then all the colon colon is covered is filled in with zeros and then at the end we have 1010 10. so um, 1010 0, 1, 0 at the end and then this is the actual record that it returned yyz06s07-in-x10. One e one hundred dot net. That's the reverse lookup for that IPv six address. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Uh, if you have any comments, you can email me at mnathani at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching.